once upon a time, I kind of wanted to spotlight something for them because I the whole Belle got tossed over the line and now has no <laughs> memories thing. I love personally. I like. Yeah. I love the idea that we have this character now who. Um, in a different way than season one, doesn't remember who she is because now everyone else remembers and now everybody else has expectations for her. And, yeah. Uh, but one of the things that I'm fascinated by that I don't know how much it is done by intention is her reaction to Rumble and Mr. Gold, or however we want to call him. Because, what I'm talking about. because she doesn't have her memories, but when you, like in real world amnesia, like you can still kind of sense people like you're not, I wouldn't remember you or like that we're friends or what your name is, but like I don't think I would be afraid of you if you were sit, if you were like trying to help me after I got tossed over a town line. She innately seems very afraid of him. You could make the argument that it's because she saw him go after Hook. You could make the argument that, and I absolutely agree that this latter part is true, that when he's then creepy, creepily in her bed, in her <laughs> bedside, then that's when you'd be afraid. But like the initial like hesitation and the backing away was really curious to me because that to me says a lot about the true love aspect of Belle and Rumpel. Like if he's her beast and like she's supposed to be able to see who's inside of him no matter what and everything like I don't it's, it's just the fact that she's so afraid of him for some it, it feels like it has to be more than just dramatic states like if, if they're just and I don't know how much it is on the page them saying that to her versus her you know Emily's portrayal and saying like I'm gonna go a little bit bigger with my fear and I'm gonna go a little bit bigger with um, my just unsuredness of my surroundings in general but like that to me is something that I'm really interested to see if and how they play out on that other level because it's not really just about him or her getting her memories back or him proving to her you know who he is and, and why they were together or it, it to me it's like if there's something else in there like you're inherently afraid of this guy that, does that, that mean that then you know are you trying to rewrite Beauty and the Beast? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because in well, this I mean, world, he is her beast. Like, he's not the beast the way that we grew up with Disney's Beauty right. and the Beast. But like, it's and it's it's an interesting experiment versus you know which which fairy tale characters are really going to be meant to be like Snow and Prince Charming right. in every other incarnation and in Once Upon a Time, or can we play with some of these people or not? You know, and yeah, um, they're already mixed characters. Of course, so. I don't feel like that's completely off the table. I mean, it's an interesting thing because, you know, the way you're boiling down to the pureness of it, you know, if she's that afraid of him on a base level, it's not a healthy relationship. Right, I don't, I don't, that's what I'm I saying. Don't, I don't, and I don't necessarily, I kind of, considering it's a Sunday at 8 o'clock show, yeah, it's for I, I kind of wonder if that's probably not the intention they're going but for. But then that's not great. Because I'm, I'm not saying that it doesn't, because if, if that's what you see, then when they get back together, you're going to be kind of like, wait. Right. No, no, and it's an interesting, I mean, because I was thinking when you were talking, like, well, I wonder if, now I suppose that she had some kind of, like, abuse or trauma. Oh, or I don't, I wasn't no, no, no. even going no, 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 that no, no, no. far. He's, not, just not, a, not, he's just a terrible not person. Not from him to her, but just in her, whatever she oh, right. is yeah, 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 but that's what I'm but saying. It's, no, and it's like, I'm, you know, it's a very curious thing. Like, she's, she has anger. She clearly of makes course. She, it, but both I'm, both at that, at him and frustration and whatever. But no, I think it's a really fascinating idea that they've wiped her clean, and I don't. Mm -hmm. Considering they, you know, she is a series regular, I don't, I don't. Maybe it's a jaded television viewer, but I don't think this is gonna stick. No, like, I don't I, either. But, but I think it'll, 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 it'll be interesting to see what it does to them going forward. Yeah, like, because it, the amnesia might not stick, but the the behavior that was right. experienced, that he's gonna remember how she reacted to him, and she may remember when she gets her memories back. How she felt, and that I mean, may bring things up. It's going to be interesting, though, because, like, you know, he, as of where we're at now, at least, he's very much of the mindset that, you know, she is still his protector. Like, you know, yeah, he but he's also going. Not as agreeing. Well, okay, but he's, he's, she, to me, I see her more as property to him. And so, well, that's, yeah, and that's a, also, yeah. that's also a different dynamic in a relationship, but he's also going away to go find his son. Right. And I think that leaves her room with Hook. To potentially, because she doesn't know to be afraid of Hook, and inherently she's not afraid of Hook because of what she's seen 
right. at that town line, it seems like he's the victim in that situation. Right. So that also, I think, brings up some interesting things. And I don't want that because I want Hook and Regina. I think I'm the only person who wants Hook and Regina together. We talked about this. Well, up on sets. Yeah, in- but but in the mass like yeah, internet yeah. world, I think everyone wants him with Emma. Yes, and because I think and also, and, and because Emma. people just like are so anti Regina because she's so terrible, and she, listen, the characters are very mean. But I just, I like the dynamic that comes when you team those kinds of manipulative people up together. Anyway, oh, that'd so, be fine. That's um, great. so all I'm saying is like, the, but that's that's the kind of level I watch TV on is yeah. you know this it's subtext <laughs> and it's the well you're looking at everything and it's like you know if you're an actor and you're making a choice to play a scene that way I assume there's a reason right. and so in my mind I'm thinking well is your reason right that she really you know she may love him but underneath that love there may be a fear and there may be a sense of I'm settling for him I mean, but I'm also kind of aware that he's not the best even when he's not he's not being mean to me, but he's not a good guy. No, I mean I don't I don't think I wouldn't read it as settling, but I think that even when maybe she the wrong word. But I think even when she was bound, she had to have memories. I think there were I think even if she loved him and trusted him, I think there would always be a fear because she knew the kind of man he could be. He's not. Yeah, you would. You would hope so. You would right, think an intelligent a woman would be good. Would be not turning man. a blinder on right. to that. But so now, if if the blinders are completely gone, we'll see. And the emotions are gone. Yeah. So yeah. We'll so that's all I'm saying. 